the continuum of care is really important to, to Montefiore because um, our primary goal is to provide quality of life and we believe the best way to achieve that is to be with the older person through their journey through aged care. Um, and that includes providing them um, socialisation uh, and support through our day centres, uh, providing them with, uh, with access to clinical and adult health services whilst they're still living in their own home, um, respite care uh, for people on a short term basis, um, and of course um, if necessary and when the time comes, providing a very high quality residential aged care experience, embracing the richness of Jewish culture and tradition. Within those service offerings, we provide um, clinical and extensive allied health services, um, far greater than what a lot of other organisations do provide uh, to their clients. And we think that's very important because quality of life is far greater than just providing good clinical services. Um, it's really about ensuring that a person um, is as well as they possibly can be. As well as providing support at each individual point, um, we find that being the one service provider provides a number of other benefits and I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, we provide adult daycare services and that's for people that are still living in their own home and it provides socialisation for the older person whilst they're there and it provides respite for their carer. Now that in itself is very important but what we find is that we can also very carefully and um, sensitively monitor the care needs of those people that are coming to our day centres and if we find that their quality of life may be compromised whilst they're at home, we can then initiate conversations and have discussions with them about getting extra support in their home from our organisation, um, which will enhance their quality of life. And of course, if and when the time comes that they may need more extensive care through our residential aged care services, we've already established that relationship with them and it makes that transition into residential aged care for that person far more seamless and, and, and far easier. Uh, but what we also recognise as an organisation is that people are individuals, they're all different. Their care needs vary greatly and we try to really focus in on what that individual actually requires and make sure that we tailor the services specifically to that particular person's care needs. But also as individuals we need to make sure we recognise their particular desires, wants and likes so that we can be responsive to that as well. We have found that there was a gap in what we were providing and that was in terms of seniors living apartments or independent living units as they're also known. The apartments are primarily for couples um, who may not be ready for residential aged care but who would benefit from having the ability to access services that are available on site. So being able to provide uh, a range of services uh, that can support a person through the continuum of care is extremely important to us and making sure that at each entry point we're providing the best quality service that we can is important. That really supports our, our goals and initiatives as a, as a benevolent and charitable organisation.